thank you all for coming out to witness the ceremony. I'd like to explain the history that led us here. We have endured as First Nations people 150 years since the proud province of British Columbia was formed. Our people have endured near annihilation, subject to poverty, diseases inflicted on us, homelessness, alcoholism, drug addiction. Now they're poisoning our waters, destroying our homelands. Our old, both old growth forests are disappearing. Species are dropping off the face of the earth and it's been accelerating for the last 150 years. These are dangerous times. What we need is to make people aware. The First Nations of this great country called Canada are probably the only people who can stand up to the forces that control our lives in corporate America and our government, which is put there to protect us and look after us. Our First Nations issues are all of our issues because it reflects on all of Canada. But in a broader sense, this is global. Every single human being is affected by decisions that we make today. What kind of people have we become? In our healing, we re regain our dignity through our culture. We regain our pride through our culture. Our connectedness with the Mother Earth and to the great creator is illustrated through our culture. Our connectedness to the other other beings that are on this planet, the other animals from the forest, the birds in the sky, all of those that dwell in the seas and the waterways, we're all connected. Oh, no. <laughs> I apologize for the technical difficulties. Um, I would like to first off start by welcome you, welcoming you all into this space and acknowledging the land that we're on because it has a history and many people have walked on this land before us and have stood here where we stand today. And I would like to thank Mother Earth for her abundance which allows us to be here today. Gela Kasla. Um, and we're going to start with a ceremony that um, honors these men here today. And <laughs> can I get you guys to come and stand here beside me? Thank you. So what we've just done now is we've blanketed them, which is um, a tradition in my, um, in my culture, which honors them, and both symbolically and literally to keep them warm. It's a symbol of security and safety and wishing someone well, and also thanking them for all that they've done. 
It's a great honor in my community to be blanketed, and I am very humbled to be standing by these two incredible men today. We've also gifted them um, an emblem, which is from the Greek culture, because today is about togetherness and collectiveness, and we wanted to incorporate Greek culture with my own um, traditions, so we've created our own ceremony here today. You, you may have a seat. Tonight I would like to offer a song um, because we're coming into this space and we're reviving it in some ways and we're making it our own tonight. And there's a song that I'd like to share which is from my family. Um, in my traditions, we each family has their own songs and their own dances that they're entitled to share. The song that I will share with you tonight is a peace song and it is bringing healing and wellness into the area and chasing out any bad energy that may exist here. Who are, who are, oh who are, hey, oh who are, ha, oh who are, who Um, good evening, everybody, and, and welcome to, to Park Eleftheria. Welcome to the Parliament of Bodies, and welcome to 34 Exercises of Freedom, and to the public programs of, of Documenta 14, which we are inaugurating today. Um, in my normal life, I'm an artistic director of uh, Documenta 14. My name is Adam Szymczyk. And today I am uh, <coughs> I'm very honored to be one of the, for a short time, knowledge keepers. And we have more of them here today, uh, our prominent guests, whom I would like to thank for participating. Tonight you'll he hear them later and see. 
Anila Sombi to my left and Antonio Negri sitting over there um, on the rocks and uh, Linea Dick who was singing before and Sergio Zavallos who is going to offer us a performance later. Um, then my duty is to thank all those who made our um, stay here possible for maybe a short period of time because this is all a passage of a small group of people through a relatively short moment in time. And this is what, what we are practicing here. So this is not to say the program is in advance of the exhibition. So the exhibition of Documenta 14, uh, however it happens, is not meant to be any final station and these things on the way are not meant to be just preparatory exercises, but they are important because they actually embody what Documenta 14 wants to be. So we'll see tonight whether it succeeded or not. And you'll tell us. I would like to thank the city of Athens, the municipality, and particularly to the mayor, um, Yorgos Kaminis, for having us here in this, um, what used to be and still will be, or is, the municipal gallery, and also one of the buildings with rather long and complicated history that we have addressed already in some public statements that stirred up a lot of uh, debate and sometimes um, negative and sometimes positive reactions. So we hope that this discussion we will continue and that we will be able throughout the discussion to refine our ignorant arguments. So we are putting ourselves in this position of ignorance towards all the specialists here in Greece who know everything about the Greek history and politics and we are trying to um, contribute together with participants coming from all over the place bringing their own experiences and their own um, history um, into this very place. Then I would also like to thank the Ministry of Culture of Greece um, which is an institution that is supporting us um, in many ways uh, so far and our different partnering institutions such as EMST, the Museum of C Contemporary Art, ASFA, the Athens School of Fine Arts, ERT, Television, um, Athens Conservatory, Odeon Athenon, also Megaron Musikis and Panaki Museum, then several other institutions, theatres, National Theatre, Municipal Theatre of Piraeus, Athens Festival, and National Library. Some of the institutes present here, with whom so far we had very um, important productive cooperation, such as Goethe Institute and French Institute in Athens. Other institutions active here, such as ISED, the Archive of uh, Contemporary Greek, Greek Art, and Tainio Thiki, the Cinematek. Two residency programs, Atopos and Sterna. And then it's, it's not an order of importance or appearance, it's more, more a subjective review of um, many of those um, institutional and semi-institutional partners with whom we had something to do until now. And some of them are particularly important for, for this project and especially I would like to thank all those who made the Museum of Anti-Dictatorial and Democratic Resistance in the building behind us the museum which is operated by the Association of Imprisoned and Exiled Resistance Fighters, 1967-74. In the same line, I would like to thank the Contemporary Social History Archives, ASCII, for providing us with tools for our research. And also, actually, without them, it would not be possible to produce a book by Gabriel Andujar that you can pick um, in the entrance when, when you leave. Um, and then um, Amoka, which is a queer museum of Athens. And then finally, um, the first platform of Documenta 14 in Athens, which is the magazine South as a State of Mind. So uh, this much to begin with, and now I'd like to uh, give the floor over to uh, Paul Preciado, who is sitting exactly on the opposite end of this room, which is perhaps significant, perhaps just a coincidence. So, Paul, be so kind. Th thank you. Thank you, Adam. 
uh, hello to all of you. Uh, I like Adam said before. I like to welcome you uh, all to the Parliament of Bodies. Um, I have to say that I'm I very moved tonight uh, after like a quite a long time of uh, getting ready for tonight and really thinking about this encounter with you because a public program doesn't exist without you, without the public, right? So uh, I'm, I'm very touched and very moved to have you around here and sitting down in these blocks that Andreas Angelidakis has uh, designed for us. And I'm also extremely moved and uh, thankful to the, the speakers that are here with us tonight, the participants that have agreed to participate to this uh, crazy 34 exercises of freedom tonight. Uh, Tony Negri here to my right, of course, like Nila Zombie and Linnea Dick uh, that you just heard before. Um, I'll, I will go a little later into the thank you list, not the institutions that already uh, Adam mentioned, but most the, the, the people that made possible this uh, project. Um, to tell you a little bit about the public program, of course, most people don't even know what is a public program, right? They, you know what, a, what an exhibition is. And normally the public program is just like a, a footnote to the exhibition, like a side show to the exhibition, with a few people uh, speaking about the exhibition, which who are supposed to be like the, the critic uh, minds or the theoreticians that come to do this kind of hermeneutic analysis on the exhibition. But, uh, we decided, together with the curatorial team of uh, Documenta 14 and Adam Shimsik, to um, question this distinction between the, the public program and the exhibition, uh, to question the distinction between art and theory, between theory and practice, because we believe that art is always public representation, public discourse, and that philosophy or theory is always a form of direct action as well, as we will see with probably uh, Nilas and, and Tony today. So we decided to open up the, the public program of uh, Documenta 14 way in advance, like a few months before the exhibition itself, as the beginning of the exhibition, the first encounter of the exhibition of Documenta 14 with the city of Athens. So this is like a basically the, the place for us to start building up together the, this exhibition. When we started to have discussions with the municipality uh, to find a place that could host the, the public program of Documenta 14, we uh, were like, you know, we were given or shown this building and we came here and were immediately touched by the fact that this building as you mostly know the people from Athens here, but probably w today we have people coming from other places that do not know. This building was the headquarters of the military police during the junta years, during the dictatorship between 1967 and uh, 1974. And of course, uh, you know, it's suddenly one has to think about how to inhabit this history, what to do with this history. For me, it was especially moving because I'm coming myself from Spain. I haven't been living in Spain for a long time. And coming to Greece was basically coming back to uh, home and coming back to my own history in a way. Uh, and we were very touched not just by this building, but also by the relationship between this building and the building behind. As you know, the building behind is the, the Museum of Anti-Dictatorial Resistance. And this was, until now, a gallery, an art gallery of the municipality of Athens. And we realized that these two buildings had followed completely different ways of being treated during the, the period uh, after the dictatorship. That building behind remained almost exactly as it was during the dictatorship. Whereas basically, this building was fully transformed into a white uh, cube. So basically, the, the walls were panel and were completely white, and you were supposed to find here contemporary art. 
But of course, when we came here to uh, think about how we could transform this place into a place to uh, meet with the, the city of Athens and to build the public program and the parliament of bodies, uh, we started working with Andrea Angelidakis, who's here uh, to my right today. And we started having like very different ideas about how to reconnect these two buildings, because in a way, history and the past is not just in the building behind, and this is supposed to be contemporary art, but some kind of circulation of voices, bodies, histories had to happen for memory to start like, you know, appearing. So we, we thought about, we started to have many different ideas and we started like a long conversation and working process with uh, Andreas and with the curatorial team of, of Documenta 14 and Adam Simsik. One of the first ideas is that um, we didn't want to work with the, what we started to call the uh, neoliberal chair. We didn't want to work with a singular chair within the space in which you enter and you find your chair, you sit down and you behave a little bit like a, a a consumer of something that is delivered to you. But at the same time, when speaking with Andreas about the Parliament of Bodies, uh, we didn't want also to fall into the trap of having the amphitheater, the traditional amphitheater architecture that already gives like a very fixed position to each one of us and that falls into the uh, politics of representation that we wanted to move beyond. Uh, with this project. So uh, we started this kind of working process with Andreas and this uh, conversation and, and then Andreas came with this completely crazy uh, idea that now you're like inhabiting, which is this 68 blocks. And I, I like to give the floor now to Andreas uh, to tell you a little bit about the, the, this project and then I'll, I will tell you more about the Parliament of Bodies. Um. Thank you, Paul. So, yeah, the, the commission from uh, Paul and Adam was a very tricky one because they made the list of the things that they didn't want. Meanwhile, I was, I was um, you know, thinking about Athens, as I usually do. That's, I spend half my time thinking about Athens. And um, what, I, what, I, what I kind of came to was that Athens is two things. It's an idea. And it's a physical object. So the idea of Athens is related to kind of the birthplace, birthplace of democracy and these kind of all these ideas that, that Europe borrowed and, and they became a sort of um, official architecture and authorized architect architecture for libraries and parliaments and courthouses. Um, this idea of democracy came from the steps on, on the hill of Pnika where the citizens would would step up on the step and uh, and speak to the to the gathered uh, other citizens so this was one of the references for my project the other one was relating to the physical object of athens which uh, was built with these concrete frames these polykatechies which of course athens existed before those structures but what what the concrete frame did was it democratized how the city was inhabited and it took in all those people from you know 1920 that didn't have anywhere to go and they moved from asia minor and then after world war ii they came from their kind of ravaged countryside and the concrete frame kind of offered them a possibility for inhabiting the city so these two references make up the the kind of essence of this project the idea is that these blocks uh, uh, are, are reconfigurable. It's not a design, it's more of a kind of protocol for something. And I was also further thinking that these two ideas are related, the kind of ancient Greek democracy and the modernist frame, because Greece borrowed, lent this, this idea to Europe and um, Western civilization. But on the other hand, the concrete frame was borrowed from Europe. So it started this kind of exchange Antiquity gave its ideas, and contemporary Western society gave its construction to Athens. Uh, so I was interested in this exchange, that it was a system that was still in negotiation. And Athens is still a city that is kind of defining its character. And in the same way, this space is, is uh, just a protocol for possibilities rather than a fixed design. Thank you. 
Thank you, Andreas. It doesn't work now? Yes, it works. Thank you, Andreas, and it's been uh, really a pleasure to work with you all this time. In, uh, of course, it was really challenging to make a public program with these 68 blocks. Uh, but it was something that it was really interesting about having these soft ruins, these 68 blocks of ruins, because in a way, uh, having this place, being here, being hosted in this place, forces us to look back into our history, recent history of democracy, of becoming a democratic country. And we came uh, to this conclusion, maybe it's an ignorant conclusion, as Adam was saying before, that our democratic institutions today are in ruins. We have the architecture of these institutions, but these institutions are dying. They are coffins, they are like empty. And we decided, we had this feeling that we have to reinvent those institutions, that these institutions have to be collectively reinvented today. So in a way, this proposal of having these 68 blocks that we had to find ways of rearranging all the time in different ways collectively, uh, was uh, kind of compelling for the idea of the, of, the, of the parliament of parties. The parliament of parties doesn't have uh, a constitution yet and doesn't have presidents or ministers. Uh, it's a space for all of us to kind of reinvent collectively the public sphere, the pu a public critical sphere together. Really thinking what could be a constitution for the Parliament of Parties in which there is not, the protocol is not representative democracy, but is neither uh, identity politics. It is a parliament in which no one is representing no one else, but the body itself, the vulnerable body, is at the center of this parliament. So each of your bodies here today and the bodies to come, but also the, the body itself of the city of Athens, the bodies that the artists are bringing with their own works in, in, different, in different ways. Of course, like uh, being in a place that is called Parco Elefterias, so Freedom Park, at the beginning, it looks to us like almost like a, a joke, an impossible contradiction, you know, to having a place like this and have this name of freedom. But we didn't fully want to uh, give up this notion of freedom. Instead, we thought about uh, using this notion differently and thinking freedom with Foucault as something that is not uh, a property, something that you're not being born with, is not like a natural right, but it's something that it has to be constantly exercised. It's a struggle, it's a practice. So the idea for these days to be able to open this parliament of bodies was to invite a series of uh, activists, artists, thinkers, academics, historians, but also people from the association behind, all kinds of people are invited this week, this, these two weeks, to practice freedom with us. So each of them have been given this invitation of a take on one exercise of freedom. And before they go into, into this exercise of freedom, I like now to thank the, the people that have been uh, working with us all this time and that had made this uh, possible. On one side, of course, like Adam Simsik, the, the director of Documenta 14, to whom I, I have to constantly apologize for uh, putting him in so much trouble all these weeks with the, I mean, already this week with the, the Greek press like criticizing us enormously for uh, mm, my decision to, to think critically democracy itself, which I think is not so easy in, Greeks, in Greek today. And this has been like a, already a huge debate in the, in the press. So uh, thank you, Adam, for the, the trust uh, uh, on my own craziness on this. Uh, ideas and let's see how can we collectively think, think through this complexity. Uh, I also like to thank the, the whole curatorial team of uh, Documenta 14 that have been uh, behind me on this, of course, especially the ones that are here based in, in Athens, Monica that is there, uh, Gila, uh, Marina, Fokidis, uh, Katerina, Celu, uh, Pierre Valblon, who I think is here today, and I don't know if he already left. Um, I also, it's behind myself, 
here, here, here. Hi. So I, I also like to, to thank uh, a lot uh, someone like Prodromos Sinikoris from the, from the National Theatre, uh, the Experimental National Theatre, who has been helping us with uh, thinking through the, the complexities of this space, which you have to think that for the utopia of a parliament of bodies, this is quite narrow as a space and quite a small, so we eventually we will have to move somewhere else, right? Like to, to find other, other places where the, the parliament could uh, extend. Um, I also like to, to thank uh, the people from the, the team of Documenta 14. Uh, I've been like, uh, you know, like mm, asking them to, d them to work like Tom so much these weeks that I have to uh, say something to them. Of course, like Fibos, Henriette, Elena, Evi, Mira, uh, Christoph, Georgina, Katerina, especially from the, the public program uh, team, Eleonora as well. Antonis, Basilis, and Felipe here in the uh, in the venue. Uh, Venia from the cinema team. Janis, Nicolas, Nikos. Of course, I'm, I'm, I, it will be like very difficult to name all of all of them. It will be like really, really long uh, list. But these are really the people that have uh, been helping us to make this uh, this possible. And when I have said that, um, I just would like to thank all of you for being here today. I hope that. Uh, you can find better position for yourself to either sit or I don't know how you can be more comfortable because for the Parliament of Bodies it seems to me that it's not the ideal situation to be like a standing up and maybe you can sit some somewhere in the floor in the f on the floor as well or they tell me that there are there is a space on the back you can also sit on the on the blocks on the stairs of the blocks 